Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. We are back with another video. If you're new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're returning, guess you know how we do kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. This video is under the Fair Use Act, and the Fair Use Act is in the description box of the video. The Fair Use Act is used to educate you guys on what we are covering on this particular platform. Please keep in mind that this video and all my videos are allegedly educational purposes only. Good evening, good evening, welcome back, welcome back. I hope everyone is enjoying this day. It is extremely hot. Please, 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 I encourage you to walk with water, talk with water, carry water, whatever you need to do to stay hydrated. There's a dangerous amount of heat. We talking a thousand where I'm located. <laughs> you know what I mean? So make sure you guys got your water. Anyway, I want to tap into these few subjects really, really quick. We got Carlissa, we got Blue Flakes, Krishan, and P. Diddy. We're going to hop on the P. Diddy situation really, really quick. And real quick, guys, I'm going to be, like, doing short videos. I find that you guys are more interested than getting to the point and being done versus a long, drawn-out live or whatever the case. However, I am going to go live at least twice a week, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Looks like Diddy has been dropped from a very high profile law agency in New York. And the crazy thing is this it's not that he can't afford it, it's not that you know they don't do what he's looking for them to do, it's simply because they are attached to somebody allegedly by the name of Miss Lady Gaga. <laughs> now, when your money can't pay by you legal counsel, now whatever's going on with this organ with this law office, they're not willing to to lose Gaga as a client. Now, I'm not saying that she has sat out there and she said, listen, if you work for him, I'm not going to, you know, I'm no longer going to work with you. I'm not saying that that's what happened, but it could be quite a coincidence that Lady Gaga has business with this same law firm. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that that is strange that this same law firm that is doing work or working with Lady Gaga no longer wants Diddy's business. Like, is that strange? Or, I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just reaching. That's why there's so videos, allegedly. I, um, listen, when your money can't pay, you know, maybe the lawyer just isn't willing to take a loss. Maybe they're already feeling like it's a no-win situation, and it's a waste of time, and it's a waste of your money, or whatever the case. And so, maybe that could be what's going on with that. I don't know. But they certainly, certainly no longer wants to work for him. <laughs> Will not work for him. And that's all and that is it. I think that is sad. That is embarrassing. Anytime that legal counsel is willing to not accept your money, allegedly, like that got to, it has got to be something pretty bad going on. Again, sometimes the lawyer just isn't willing to jeopardize his name. Maybe this lawyer got a hundred went to one situation and he feels like this is the one that he may lose and being that this is a high profile case of course the attorney doesn't want to lose this case mm, seems fishy to me <laughs> seems fishy to me Carlissa goes live looking brand new shining and everything <laughs> Shy, Carlissa decided that she wanted to apologize to the fat girl girl and let me tell you something when you get a certain age, you can exercise, you can eat right, you can do whatever it is you want to do. Some things are just going to stick with you as you grow older. When you can't do the things you used to do, like exercise and those kind of things. But the main thing is just to stay healthy. You know, you do have some that are out there that are sickly, that are going through and diabetes and all these different things allegedly educational purposes only and they're still not willing to eat right or you know just do right as a whole with their health and so listen big is it for me you know this big and stink and this big and, and, and unhealthy and this big and just looking crazy for no reason or whatever the case but it's up to you what you decide to do with your body and your health like I said there are plenty of people that are out and about that are for instance I, my family I could lose all the weight in the world but my back we have big backs and so certain parts of our body is just won't decrease you know I'm just thankful to be in a good health at this point you know what I'm saying because I've been in spaces where you know I was going through a lot 
but only God, right? So, yeah, I just feel like everybody is different. I feel like when you do get a certain age, certain things that just you and that's it, and you accept what it is that God is doing with you or for you, and you do what you know you're supposed to do in order to remain healthy. And so, whatever, Carlos, <laughs> I'm just messing. Whatever. And the good luck to her. I really want to say that from the bottom of my heart that I wish Carla said, well, nothing but the best. It's like I would anybody else that has wronged somebody, you know. How are they any different, you know? It is they, they us to carry, not ours. It is out. It is their burden to carry. It is, you know, they dumb to answer to God, not ours. And so I hope nothing but the best for her. I want to still say that I feel like financially, I don't know what's going on with Carlissa or whatever the case financially. I do feel like Carlissa should somehow kind of reach out and try. You know, it's a shame when people cry and broke and they don't want nobody to help them. When it's not even they call to, to, to um, receive the help from somebody, you know. I don't know. It's just crazy to me. But I do feel like if somebody reached out to Carlissa and asked her to help with the situation with Krishan or whatever the hell the case, I truly believe that she will help because she knows that her son loves Krishan. And I know she knows that her son would not want Krishan to be in a predicament that she is. However, it's still alleged that it's not a money thing, that she has to be expedited or whatever the case. Now, Krishan was supposed to be home yesterday. I waited, I waited till 12, I waited till 6 this evening, and there's no way about of Krishan. There's no change in the website or whatever the case, but I will say this. Whatever is going on, I hope that she is praying. I hope that she is understanding how important that it is to make change. Um, I know some, that some people want to hear me speak on a certain thing, but I will not because I don't wish that on nobody's family. You know, because those people uh, can be just as evil as well. Those people can be, you know, I don't want to speak anyway. And um, so I just hope that she's taking time to really think about, you know, her actions, her behaviors, and the things that she can do to better herself, better herself as a mother, and even as a wife. Because, you know, she's never stated that she wanted to be a wife. She's never sugarcoated that. And so hopefully she understands the importance of making changes within yourself. You can't force anybody else to change, but you certainly can do the work within yourself. And so I hope that is what she is doing on her downtime. Again, she has to be expedited. Then it is what it is, and I think that's going to be something that really opens her my eyes and make, make open her eyes and make her understand that you know it doesn't matter how much money and stuff you have, you are still going to be accountable for your actions. Only difference is that they will let you, let it last longer. They will let you run them up until they can't no more, until you owe them everything you got. And then here they come knocking at your door. So I'm hoping that she's praying, healing as well. And just understanding the importance it is to make a change when she comes out. As for Blueface, I don't see Blueface coming home. I have always stated that Blueface was not going to come home before Christian, only because Blueface has encountered more felonies, allegedly. You know, during his time, he was already in there for violating it. So now it's like double, triple violation of probation. And so how is it even going to look right that they say, well, he can go home? Like, people are going to call it. They're going to call the, the courts out. They're going to call the people out and, and get them to like understand how is it different from him versus so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so. and I have pointed that out on on, on you know my particular platform and different things are good for different people and, and it's the same thing, right? And so, yeah, I just feel like Blueface is going to be another one of those, not to sacrifice, but another one of those artists you see Young Thug and all these different kind of things, but it has stuff in the courtroom and all this different stuff. I feel like Blueface is going to be another one that they are going to make an example out of because Blueface is just not... Even to the point of on the phone, you know, he's still standing on schoolyard and all these different things. And so these people are hearing these conversations and they're probably saying, well, you know, he's already in trouble. He's still claiming these sets and doing these different things. Not to say that because he locked up, you're not supposed to, because you're supposed to claim it to, to the death of you, allegedly, educational purposes only, right? But I just feel like, who asked you? You know what I mean? And so it's important that you know when and where. And I just feel like Blueface just doesn't care, and so they're going to act like they don't care either. And, you know, he's going to he's gonna sit a while. 
he, he's just gonna have to sit at least two years i'm saying at least 18 months but my whole thing with this whole situation with him and Krishan being locked up is that one of them is gonna come home and they're gonna get time to grow apart and they're gonna get time to know what it is to miss somebody to really love somebody that you can't even be there with or be there for for that matter and so we have to see what's going to happen with this whole situation. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you feel free to donate, dollar sign, refuse to lose BTS. Also, you can dollar sign, super chat, and all those good things. Check out the merch down below in the video. And you guys have a blessed rest of the week. Peace.